Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Plato's Transporters, a fabric mod that simply is a spiritual successor to Da Vinci's Vessels and Archimedes' Ship Mods. So, what it adds is basically a bunch of components that you can use once you've constructed uh, using other bits and pieces, to then uh, use some like wheels, hot air balloons, and uh, some water floats to then obviously add a bit more for it to then move either on land, in air, or in water. So, uh, what you come across is the ship controller assembly, which is made with wood, iron, and a clock, which is going to be your wheel of sorts to then, or your sort of mechanism to operate the structure. We've got water floats made with wool and sticks for obviously traveling along water, you've got the airship balloon with glowstone and wool, a wheel made with iron nuggets and wood, you've got a control key to then allow it to start or operate it I guess, which I don't know if you have to have on you at all times for it to then be the case. No, okay, so you probably just need it so that you can um, get everything started at a certain point. Um, you've got the ship lift jack which allows you to either increase or decrease your actual height, I think, that you're operating it at. You know, the disassembly wrench to obviously remove everything. I uh, will just check here in case I missed something. Used to control vehicles for water ground and otherwise must only be held to move the vehicle forward and it must be uh, for air it must be right clicked using the direction you want it to go. Okay, so we'll actually get our control key again. Uh, you can actually right click this and it'll give you a book as well, giving you details what you can do if you are unsure. Um, so the book will tell you to get started, you need a ship controller, you need a control key, and you need a jack. Um, you've got the following block consideration as well, um, which if we check the configs obviously you can change these aspects. Um, and this just allows you to change the radius of the blocks used in a single ship, um, how the amount of blocks one airship can lift, um, water floats and otherwise. Now, I don't know if you have to have say a certain amount of blocks and then however many wheels or otherwise to compensate for say the weight of it or the amount of blocks included in the structure. I actually have no idea um, but I've just put a ton of wheels because I couldn't actually get it working. It wouldn't let me do anything. It kept saying you don't have enough of either floats, balloons or wheels to make it a functional vehicle. Um, otherwise if there's mistakes and such, uh, interacting with things, you can use the jack to either lift yourself or lower yourself, um, and then other consideration for air and so on. And then we can disassemble if you think we want to, but we'll do that at the end. Um, so getting in the structure once it's been created is not exactly the easiest if you're at a certain height or so, but uh, obviously it does kind of act like a mob in a way, because you can see its health. You can hit it and obviously it'll take damage, so yeah. Uh, so we've got our control key, now we can actually move. So if we just wanted to use this normally, we wouldn't actually be able to move at all. So this is just for going forward though, obviously. This is what it can do. I don't know if the wheels actually rotate either. I assume this will just block. Um, you can see my prior attempts trying to combine things together to see if I can make a um, three and one sort of vehicle, but obviously I didn't have any luck there. So that's pretty much this in a nutshell. Obviously if you don't have the control key in hand, it won't move it for you. Uh, I think this is just for moving forward though, you can't move backwards. Um, you'd still have to move in place and then stop using the control key to stop moving. Uh, you also can fall through it apparently, which is interesting. And uh, the height of this is quite hilarious. Um, what I've tried to get going there. So we'll try an air and a water vehicle using the same blocks and uh, we'll just see what happens. So we'll just build over here and I'll see if I can build a smaller structure and get a assembly controller and we'll get a bunch of floats. So I don't know how many I'm going to need here but I'll just put some like so and we'll see if we have enough now. Yes, okay, so we do. 
We get our control key and we're now moving forward in our watercraft. So yay. Uh, if we wanted to though, we'll actually see if we can put... Oh, okay, it even took... <laughs> okay, so it actually took the um, shipwreck blocks as well. Interesting. Oh no, the, the tree logs. Oh man, that's funny. Okay, so we'll just test the... Uh, um, disassemble as well. The not enough space to disassemble apparently. Okay, so do we... How do we do this? Um... Let's see, I'm gonna go back here. Uh, to disassemble, you must sit on it and then use the wrench. It will turn back into the blocks in the direction it was built in. This is a bit of space. Okay, uh, so we just try and face this way. Uh, you know, getting out of it. Uh, come on, nothing. Okay, no idea there. Just missing something, it seems. Uh, we'll just go to the air one though, and try and hopefully avoid anything else. Um, but yeah, I'll also try getting something like storage on here and see if that actually works, because you never know, and you obviously would want to use some like that on travels. So we'll get some air balloons going, like so, probably more than necessary there. And we get a chest, we get a furnace and crafting table, and see if we can use those, and if it will pick up on them. So we obviously know to pick up certain stuff there, on the side. So we'll just get a... Uh, let's see... I uh, might want to make this a bit of a bigger structure to compensate for what we're going to add. And we'll do that for it. Okay, and we'll place down our... An actual assembly controller. We don't have enough balloons apparently. Interesting. Okay, so if we build a bit further forward, we might be good, hopefully. I don't know. And then for a smaller structure, maybe it doesn't matter too much. That's the thing. I don't know how much you really need to consider um, for the amount of blocks or any other additional things here. I don't know if I could even stack these or something and it would work. I just can't really see much more than necessary. Um, and I don't know if you really could have a flying base like approach with this either, but it's worth testing this anyways. So that's now going to work. Cool. So that is just sort of moving. And I don't know if we can... Okay, so we can right click and it'll get us in the air with a control key. So there's that. It's just going to slow fall from there. Obviously I'd want to say a glass bottom to make things easy to see. And uh, we'll just get out of there. It's going to fall through regardless though. Uh, our chest furnace and crafting table stayed though, so they aren't probably blocks that are compatible to stay with it. It's good to know, so you probably can't do that. You want to keep like a shulker box or a backpack or something else on here then. Um, Otherwise, we go in here again. Can we jack ourselves up? Yes, we can. And uh, I'm trying to remember. I need to get in here. I can jack myself up for the other. I always forget how to do the shift part. Oh well. Um, and we'll want to have this assembly wrench next. So we'll do this because I'm sick dissatisfied. We don't have enough space. So we can do that in the sky. Oops. Uh, okay, what am I missing here? Whoops, come on. In the structure. Nope. Can you stop pushing me out, please? Can you please stop doing that? That's not helping. Okay. Right click. Um, control key. And we can disassemble it that way, I guess. There we go. It's not exactly on a corner, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's nice. So that's how you disassemble it. You need enough space elsewhere. With the uh, the land one, it might be difficult, but with the air and the water, I assume it's probably not going to be that much of a problem, maybe? Uh, we did have this also dragging along, I assume, so many of the others might, within range, pick up. I guess? That's probably what it seems like here. That's quite strange. Um, but yeah, that seems to be it as far as I can tell with just slight experimenting. And testing of uh, what capabilities the mod can do.
in its current state. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye.